sunshine certainly, certainly feels good today. Just enough of a breather to plan for the next storm. Yes, and you know, yesterday's was messy. This next one should be a little more straightforward. Um, neither of them are blockbusters. Okay. So, but in this winter, <laughs> it seems anything is possible. Yeah, you know, it's keep it change. interesting. Uh, today, nice in between day, 40 in Portland, 41 in Sanford, 41 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 34 in Bangor. So we're doing some melting out there. You know, some of these spots that saw four or five inches of sleet, it's really tough to get rid of that stuff. So you need temperatures to stay above freezing for a while, loosen it up a bit, and then you're able to shovel it or plow it uh, if you can. Visible satellite looking good. Over the southern half of the state, more clouds over down east Maine. And we'll see clouds come back into the picture later this afternoon from southwest to northeast. Uh, but overall, things are quiet not only today, but into tomorrow as well. The temperatures tonight drop down to about freezing in a lot of spots. It's not frigid. Uh, really, it's not frigid through the entire week. There's nothing all that cold going on here. Tomorrow we see a mixture of sun and clouds. There's even an isolated sprinkle possibility over York and Cumberland County through the middle of the day. But notice temperatures again get into the low 40s. In some cases, we're able to get into the mid 40s with a mixture of sun and clouds. So we do a little bit more melting there. And then as we head into Thursday, we start with some sun, but clouds come in from the southwest and we're cloudy by the afternoon. So this storm system, and I'll zoom out and show you this, is not uh, you know, it's not a big wound up storm. We would consider this in the weather world a progressive storm system, meaning it moves pretty quickly from west to east. It's not blocked by any high. So right there, it's a limiting factor on how much snow you can get. And there's also temperature issues because we're very close here, especially, you know, in York County, just in the southern Cumberland County to being a little too warm to get good accumulating snow. You head to the north of that and you will. New Hampshire will do well, into the mid coast will likely do well. But when you get north of Bangor, this storm quickly becomes less of an issue. Heaviest snow is Thursday night. It snows during the day Friday, but I think the dynamics are kind of out of place by then. So again, watch these temperatures. This is Thursday afternoon. We start at 36. Good luck with that. You're gonna have a hard time really accumulating much of anything. Overnight is our best chance while everyone's sleeping. We drop down to about freezing. Inland is into the upper 20s. That's when we're accumulating snow that continues into early morning hours. And again, I think during the day on Friday, we maybe get some, I call it <laughs> kind of trash leftover snow. I don't think we're going to see too much real accumulation. Working on a map right now, I'll tell you that I think what I said yesterday is I'm torn between four to eight and three to six. That, that's the bottom line. So I'm working on that right now. And it really comes down to how much of that snow do I think we're going to waste at the beginning when it's 36 because that snow doesn't count. Uh, you know, it'll happen, but it doesn't count. Should be quiet for Saturday and Sunday. There might be something on Monday. The models disagree on that. But again, I have a one storm at a time policy. Um, so that map will come out. It's not a huge, huge storm, but it should be enough that we're uh, moving it around, shoveling it around there on uh, Friday morning. And again, that variable of 36 degrees when it starts. How long will that stick around? Yeah, and that's okay. and that's really, I think, just for the coast. I think farther inland, I feel better about it, but okay. it's to the average person, three to six, four to eight, doesn't matter a lot, but I will pull my hair out over it, and then I'll we come back with a map later today. That's the dedication <laughs> we count on. All right, Keith, thanks so much.